good. We are headed into a dark appointment. If you missed, I think it was like a couple vlogs ago, but if you missed the vlog where we update, we had some x-rays done. So we're having to go back down to the hospital to check them to see what the next steps are. They may need to recast. Honestly, go check out that vlog. It's gonna have a lot more information in it, but me and Ollie are back down here at Radies in San Diego. We took the long trek here, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. So yeah, go check out that vlog and you'll you'll try to get a lot more information on what's going on today. Yeah. But we'll see. We may be down here for a while or we may be headed home in a minute. We'll see. So far, everything has been moving quite quickly. We already got in super fast. We've already done the x-ray. Now we have to wait for the doctor to look at the x-ray. How was the x-ray? Good. No pain? No pain. No pain, we got him on the table. We had to kind of roll him on his side so they could get pictures. They wouldn't show me the pictures. I was like, can you just give me a peek? Cause then I would kind of have an idea of where our day is headed, but he wouldn't let me even look. And I was like, oh, that's so annoying. Every person is different. It's like. Some are like, yeah, check it out, look at it. And some are like, oh no, I can't show you. It's very annoying, but hopefully we'll know soon. Whenever the doctor gets here to look at it, we'll have a better idea of what is next, what our day is gonna look like. Could just go crazy from here or we could just go home and be bored. Ollie is loving his Christmas present though. Look at that. He's got a new iPad. Mm -hmm. He's styling. <laughs> okay, so update. I'm kind of like gonna be in the same spot for a while probably. They said that um, his doctor got pulled in to actually put another uh, spica cast on another child. So I asked them to please print the image so that I could just kind of get an idea because I can kind of gauge. I'm gonna pop up the image of what it first looked like when he first broke it. Okay, so you can kind of see that there's like a little, like kind of a fracture. You can kind of see like cracks in it. Then the second, um, when we did the post-op x-ray of it kind of like, Okay, now it looks like the bone is like shifted and it's like actually popped out a little bit. And so today's, to me, it's slight, but it does look shifted more. Looks a little bit more intense. Um, they actually did print it for me. So this is the updated image. And to me, you can see a lot more space between the two. This is from my naive brain eyes but you can see like a little bit more space right there versus before it was more filled in so i don't know exactly what this means to me this i as a mom my gut instinct is we need to fix it we need to recast this and fix it because it cannot stick out like this in my opinion but doctor could come in and say something different it's been it's been a kind of a tough situation just because i feel like the doctors have given me such different information since the beginning. They've, it's been very a very confusing experience. I can't really go into all the detail of why it's been so difficult, but I feel like I have to talk to this doctor kind of in mama bear mode. Um, kindly, obviously, he I trust him. He is the doctor. He knows better than me, but I don't want to risk anything like the bone not healing properly or him having a limp or something like that. I just want them to fix it, to be honest. Um, but we'll see. I don't know, we might be in here for a while while we wait for the doctor to come. And we're out. Um, that appointment actually went pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, we, were like, we drove all the way um, to San Diego, I guess just for an x-ray us for an x-ray um we actually already ate because we got out of there we were like shaking starving because they actually had wanted him to come down not eating or drinking just in case he had to go in and have it recasted after looking at everything and honestly i made him really talk to me for like a while because it it makes me uncomfortable not to recast because it looks so weird it's like it's displaced it's sticking out but he feels very very confident that the bone is going to grow back perfect because he is eight years old and he's growing the bone's gonna grow and it's gonna straighten itself out i definitely talked a lot about my like concerns the risks why i'm not sure that's a good idea and he just reassured me over and over that this is the best option for him the least painful he only has to be in the cast for like four more weeks so why 
put him through surgery that could be like kind of painful. I had him actually bring in a second doctor because I was like, I just feel like if another doctor looked at this bone, he, they would be like, yeah, you need to fix that. And he's, well, let, I'll, I'll grab another doctor for you. And um, she came in and just kind of reassured that she also would do the same thing if it was her child. Now, if it was an adult that had their bone like that, they would fix it immediately because you have no more bone growth happening. You need to fix it so that it heals properly. But because he's growing and elongating, the bone should supposedly fix itself and be fine. So it's a little nerve wracking. The last thing I want is to go through with six to eight weeks with the cast on and then it not be perfect. But they feel very confident that this is the right decision. So that's what we're going with. So now we were actually thinking about going to the zoo since we're down here, but it's starting to rain. It's just sprinkling right now. And it's freezing. So I think we're gonna go home and I've actually heard that today is like National Build Lego Day. So we're going to go home and build Legos. Maybe actually go magnet fishing because you got a magnet fishing thing from Papa, huh? Yeah. So we might go do that. Hey Ollie, how does it feel to be back at the scene of the accident? I don't know. <laughs> so tell them, where did you slip? Right? So were you running down this ramp? Yeah, I was running and it was wet and then I slipped right there. You slipped right at the end of the ramp, did the splits, <laughs> and we're back mm -hmm. two weeks later. Yeah. And they're magnet fishing, hoping to find that crawdad trap that you were looking for in the first place, huh? Mm -hmm. You know that terrible feeling when you wake up and realize you forgot to charge your phone? Yeah, forget that feeling. Over 24 hours of battery life on Google Pixel. What you doing, bud? Uh, You're magnet fishing? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, it's stuck right there. It's stuck. There you go. Ready. Was it stuck to anything? Heavy. Nope. All right, we're home and we're doing some Legos. We got this for Christmas and it's so cool. We've already got the base done. It's ginormous, huh? These are all the bags. There's 19 bags. They even have fall leaves for when it's fall. Oh, cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> We're hanging out, doing Legos. I'm working on the trunk now. I will say I'm quite relieved that we don't have to stay down at the hospital today. It was nice being able to come home. I truly just want him to heal properly and I want everything to be good um, with his leg and the doctors, we don't want surgery. Um, and the doctors feel confident. So I'm trying to put my trust in that. I'm not a doctor, but gosh, I look at that picture and I'm like, that needs to be fixed. <laughs> he says he's feeling good though, huh? Yeah. Yeah, feeling good. Last night.